This is another exercise which involves small breath holds to help stop asthma symptoms and it's quite a useful one. It can be a little bit challenging. So if somebody has really labored symptoms, what I would say is that they just hold their breath for between three and five seconds. But if you feel that your symptoms are not too bad, you can be holding your breath then for five seconds initially, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then 10, and then back nine, eight, seven, six, five. So let's give it a go. Imagine that you're having wheezing and coughing and different symptoms of asthma. We want to try and help open up the airways. Take a normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch your nose and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go and breathe in through your nose and breathe normally for two to three breaths. And you're just having your usual breathing pattern. Your normal breath in, your normal breath out. And again, normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose and pinch your nose and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose, and now you're just breathing normally for two to three breaths. So now we increase it then to six seconds. So whenever you're ready, normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch and hold, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose, and now you're just breathing normally for two to three breaths. So just kind of, always it's helpful, I know it's not always easy, to bring a feeling of relaxation to the body especially when we're having symptoms. And again, take a normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, and pinch and hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose, and breathe normally for two to three breaths. So now we increase it to seven. Now you will feel some degree of air hunger because we're increasing it, and especially if you're having symptoms. Take a normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch and hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose, and now you're just kind of breathing normally for two to three breaths. And if you felt it was more comfortable, you could breathe normally for four to five breaths. So you can always kind of play with it. We do a breath hold, and then we have normal breathing for a period of time just to recover. Then a small breath hold, then a recovery period, and that's how we have to open up the airways. Seven again. Normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, and pinch and hold. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose, and now you're just breathing normally for two to three breaths. So just breathing normally, and then we increase it to eight seconds. So whenever you're ready, normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch your nose and hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose, and just breathing normally for two to three breaths. So during this the recovery period, you don't have to make any changes to your breathing. It's just your usual breathing pattern. And eight again. Normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch your nose and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go and breathe in through your nose. And you have your normal breathing pattern then for two to three breaths, or four breaths or five breaths, whatever is comfortable. So whenever you're ready, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose and now you're breathing normally. So this is a little bit of a challenge. We start off at five and we repeat it, then six we repeat it, seven we repeat it, eight we repeat it, nine we repeat it, 10 we repeat it, looking to open up the airways. That's the whole objective because when the airways are opening, then that feeling of air hunger diminishes and it's easier breathing. So nine again, normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch your nose and hold, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose, and you're breathing normally for two to three breaths. So you're just having your usual breathing pattern. And then we increase it to 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose, and you're just breathing normally for two to three breaths. So allowing your breathing to settle, not to be constricting the breathing or anything like that, not to deliberately interfering with it, just allow it to settle. Maybe a bit labored, that's kind of normal when you're having symptoms. 10 seconds again. In and out through your nose, pinch, hold. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose. And now you're breathing normally for two to three breaths. Now we start moving back towards nine. So it's a simple enough exercise. Anytime there's symptoms, hold your breath. And it's much easier to hold your nose. So whenever you're ready, take a normal breath in through your nose out through your nose and pinch and hold, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Let go of your nose, breathe in through your nose, and now you're just breathing normally for two to three breaths. As you hold your nose, nitric oxide pools inside the nasal airway, and as you let go, you want to breathe in, so you're carrying that nitric oxide laden air into your lungs. It helps open up the bronchioles, the small airways, and this makes breathing easier. So nine again. Normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose. Pinch and hold. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Breathe in through your nose, and you're breathing normally now for two to three breaths. And eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose, and you're breathing normally for two to three breaths. So even though when you're having symptoms, this may not feel like the right thing to do, I have air hunger, and you're asking me to hold my breath, which is only going to make my air hunger worse. Well, we do have you, we want you to have a small breath hold, which can increase the air hunger a little bit, but the objective is to open up the airways to get rid of the air hunger. So that's the whole team behind it. And it works pretty well. It doesn't work with every symptom um, in terms of wheezing, coughing, breathlessness. But even if you have to take your salbutamol, you still do the breath hold exercise and it helps just to keep your breathing under much better control. So eight again, normal breath into your nose, out through your nose, pinch and hold, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let go, breathe in through your nose and now to breathe normal for two to three breaths. So you're just breathing normally and just even relaxing into the body. So normal breathing and then we do seven. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose and normal breathing for two to three breaths. And then again, whenever you're ready, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose and breathe normally for two to three breaths. Could be four breaths or five breaths again if you're feeling more comfortable. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose and breathe normally for two to three breaths. So we might have you wait for about four breaths the next time, just to allow your breathing to settle a little bit. Six, take a normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch and hold. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose and to breathe normally for two to three breaths or four breaths, five breaths, depending. So you're just allowing your breathing to settle. And five, take a normal breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go, breathe in through your nose and you're just breathing normally to recover. So we'll do one more five, and then that will be this exercise. Take a breath in through your nose, out through your nose, pinch and hold, five, four, three, two, one, let go, and breathe. Now, with this exercise, you continue to do the small breath holds as long as you feel some symptoms there. If there's a cough, for example, you're doing it in between your coughing. If there's wheezing, you're doing it continuously. If there's chest tightness, if there's cold or chest infection, you're also continuing to do the small breath toes. And as I said earlier on, you could do this exercise for five to 10 minutes every hour. It's quite useful. Okay, so that's the breath hold exercise to stop symptoms of asthma.